Okay, so today what the plan is, I've actually gone ahead and removed the spare tire, which is right there, and the carrying uh, tray for that is there, and that goes up here, of course. Um, so, of course, we're here at the back end of the car. I've taken off both wheels. I've uh, got it up on stands. I've got chocks under the front wheels. I've got the tires under the body, and I've got uh, the ramps under there as well. And this tire, just in case something happens, it won't fall on my head. Um, the goal here is to remove this spring. So this is going to be a hell of a job, probably. But then again, maybe it won't be too bad. Um, going to pull that spring and replace it with a carbon mono or a mono spring. I guess it's carbon. I don't know what it's made of. But right now, what I'm in the midst of doing is taking the nuts off the ends of these bolts right here that hold the end of the spring to each side. So I've got the cotter pins out. I've got a vice grip on this side and my jack right there, which is not in the position I will be doing this in. Um, but uh, I'm going to be pulling that all apart. I'm hoping that I don't need to pull the exhaust off of the end here. If I do, I'll do that, of course, but I'm hoping I might not need to. Um, if I can just get those springs loosened up, I should be able to just pull them out of there, uh, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Just probably going to be an interesting process. So while I'm under here, I'm checking the brakes and things like that too. And sadly, it looks like the guy replaced the calipers, but he didn't apparently know that when you replace the pads, you're supposed to turn the rotors. Or replace them so these rotors are nasty originals and they're still riveted onto the spindles so that sucks looks like the um, there's some I don't know what those bottom bars are called this oops this little one right here it's going across right there the bushings look kind of like they're dry rotted so I'm gonna have to replace those eventually well very soon actually so anyway and it looks like the diff plug is leaking so anyway that's it for now I'll come back for some more after I get these a little further along okie dokie well it took me an hour to get these bolts out I was able to get this one out it actually unscrewed, but unfortunately the head on this one over here stripped and I had to get my angle grinder out and, ooh, that's hot, and cut that sucker off of there. So this nut would not budge at all. I coated the shit out of it with stuff and didn't matter. So now... Thankfully, those are out of there, and I'm going to have to move that tire out of the way so I can get to those four main bolts right there, and then I'm going to start cleaning stuff up once I get the spring out. Oh, great. I've got mosquitoes coming after me now. All right, you guys, so it's taken me about three hours almost to get that spring out. Of course, I'm lying in the dirt here being bitten by mosquitoes and stuff. I do have repellent, so that helps. Um, while I have this up, I'm going to spray a bunch of degreaser all over this thing, clean it off, because as you can see, she's been dripping a little bit from that plug. So while this is all exposed, I'm gonna clean it up. I really wish I had some bushings to put in there for these two because replacing those after I put the spring in is going to be a biatch. But, whatever. I just need to get the spring on and move on. So, I've got to drain the diff fluid next. And, um, I have some additive and some new fluid to pump up in there. So, 
that is the next step. I'll come back after that is done. All right, hello and welcome to the finished product. All right, so that white block right there is the center part of the new mono spring, which you can see extends out to the new bolt. One new cushions and everything, all nicely set up and ready to go. Um, new Bilstein shocks up in there. You can kind of see that one and you can sort of see that one over there. <clears throat> I'm about to put the, uh, I guess the spare tire carrier back on here. And then I will be putting the wheels back on. And, um, after that, we'll fire it up and see if it rolls right. So job is almost complete. Yay! It took me about an hour and a half to get the spring up in there and torque it down. Those four bolts in the center you're supposed to torque to 50 foot-pounds so I worked my way up to that part of the instructions and that's pretty much it. Everything else is good to go. Anyways, I am going to go finish it up now. Okay, I am done. Uh, I got the tire back up under there, and she's sitting high in the back right now, obviously. Actually, that looks kind of cool. Um, so, I hope you didn't see me in the window there, because I look like a fucking mess. Alright, there she is. Oh, kind of hard to see, but back end looks a slight bit high, but then again, maybe not. At least the back wheels are straight again. That's nice. Those things. Alright, so anyways. Oh man, the mosquitoes are bad. So yeah, there she is. She's looking good. Dirty. But she's sitting nice, so I'm going to fire it up and move it back and forth and hope that it uh, doesn't f fly apart. 